he insisted, didn't he? Yeah, well, I thought I should check it out. Did you think that this day would ever come? Eventually, I just thought I would be older. Oh, cheer up. It happens to a lot of women your age. That's not exactly what I wanted to hear, honey. Well, a lot of women your age are grandmothers these days. Aren't you happy that I could be pregnant? I know we're also delirious. <laughs> It's like losing Reba all over again. Josh, if you want to wait, I'll... No, I don't want to wait, Andy. It's, you know, I want a life with you. It's just that this is difficult. Josh, even at this late date, I can ask for Ross, a Ross, I'm the one that pushed you to, to go forward with this thing. I, wa I want to do this. I'll, I'll be better when it's over. I'll, I'll be sure? Fine. Yes, I'm sure. Life is for the living, right? I grieved long enough and all that stuff. I, I, I want a life with you, Annie, and my children. You said before, Josh, that the judge is pretty tough. Do you expect any problems? No, I expect the petition to be granted. And by the end of the day, Reeve will be declared legally dead. Hello? Hello? Is someone there? Look, I can hear you breathing. Will you speak up or hang up? Look, if this is a crank call, you can bloody well go to hell. Hello? Closure. And he seeks recognition that his wife, Reba, is no longer of this world. Look, speak up. I cannot hear you. Ah, look, I don't have all day. Please tell me who you are, what you want. Otherwise, this phone call, like my patience, will come to an end. What on earth? Well, you can hit and run, but you can't hide. Gotcha. <sighs> you Miserable cowboy, how dare you even show your face in my house? You and me got a little score to settle. I, I'm, I'm calling uh, about a, Mr. Alan Spaulding. Like there's been an run. accident? I'll just toss you out of here myself. <laughs> even better. Listen, you, you look here. I took self-defense at boarding school, and I can hurt a man. Yeah, run him down like you did me. Oh, you've been roadkill since day one. I demand recompense. Hello. Did you hear what I said? You have no witness to this alleged accident, therefore you have no case, so you get out of here. Oh, the good Lord knows. You struck me down and left me to die. I saw the white light, heard harps a playing. It's a miracle you're not facing murder one. Well, don't tempt me. Why? Why are you being so dang hard nosed? I'm trying to help you out. <laughs> I mean, I'll offer him to settle out of court. Yeah. And, 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 and keep your name clear of the papers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not paying you one cent dime. Oh, I can see that. Lady Lidfoot owes down sainted grandpa. Yeah, well, I can see my own handwriting. That scoundrel, you trespasser, shot. Now you, ow! And you, Annie, up. Or I'll sue your blue-blooded behind. Really? Well, I'll charge you with vagrancy, harassment, and extortion. Oh, well, I'll just add them threats to your tab. You're pushing a quarter mil, now. No, I'm going to push you out the front door, down the driveway, and into oncoming traffic. Last chance. Pay up or end up in court. Now, uh, this kind of personal injury uh, trial can, can, uh, it can go on for years. It'll cost you millions. That's it, that's it. I am hauling Bruno. If I show Bert, he's going to toss you out of here. You're tired, Bert. here to my heave ho make a six o'clock news and guarantee a six for yourself. Hello? Hello? Are, are you still there? You're pregnant? Oh, well, I, 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 well, I don't know yet. I mean, I'm, I'm late, about a week or so, and Ross just insisted that I come, so don't worry if you have a problem with the grandmother thing. We'll teach the kid to call you Nana. I don't care what you call me. I'm so happy for you. Great. You and Ross can be my cheering section. That's wonderful. We'll take you shopping. I'm going to throw you a shower, all that. Well, we don't even know if I'm pregnant yet. I'm so... Don't, don't have me enrolled in those Lamaze classes just yet, okay? What? You're not... You're excited, though. Ross is. 
and and he really wants to have this baby and, and i want to be able to give it to him look i i bought this <laughs> to kind of put me in the mood you're not so okay. sure though huh oh what do i know about being a mother i mean I, the diapers and the, the, the Oh, the chicken pox, and then you know, you're gonna have to kiss all their little boo boos and making their lunches and their play dates, first dates, and college. Do you know how expensive college is gonna be 20 years from now? Do you know how old I'm gonna be 20 years from now? It's only natural to be overwhelmed. Really? And you're gonna be a fabulous mother. Oh, I don't know, Mom. I mean, it's just so much responsibility. What if I mess it up? What if I have a daughter that's like Dinah? Or me. <laughs> well, you and Ross both know what not to do. So use that and let the rest take care of itself. Well, you almost make it seem doable. Well, if you like, I could give you advice. Just do the opposite. <laughs> I'm glad that we're close again. Me too. Having you to lean on just might be what pulls me through this thing. Come on. Doubts about anything new are normal but you can be realistic about it i mean so many people go into parenthood without realizing what a big responsibility it is well we don't even know if i'm pregnant yet okay so let's just find out i know ross is waiting for me to say it's a go yeah. mrs reed dr fit will read you shortly okay thank you okay thank you. wait a minute i thought ross sent you here to give me moral support when you have your own appointment yeah what's wrong no, don't worry. Oh, you can tell me, Mom. Nothing serious. But it's something. <sighs> yeah. As time marches on, I find I have left active duty and joined the reserves. Huh? You're here to find out if motherhood is in your future, and I am here to confirm that it is behind me. You're being weird, Mom. I mean, not just normal weird. Yeah, well, I'm not feeling very well. So something is wrong? Oh, just life. I skipped a period, and uh, I'm just so moody. And, oh, at my age, that only means one thing. Oh, no, 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 no. Menopause? No way, you're too young. No, nevertheless. It's all downhill from here, honey. I'm seeing age spots before my eyes. Oh, just stop. I bet you've just miscounted. You always do that. You're bad with dates. You didn't write it down. Yes, Mrs. Marla, we're ready for your blood test now. Good luck, honey. Okay, here. <laughs> one life cycle begins, and another one... Great this morning. Yeah, well, we still are. I mean, we, after all, we are. There was Alice and Ralph Cranden in Springfield. And it's just that she's got a lot on her mind lately, that's all. Well, I know that she's upset about Tangie leaving town and everything, but, I mean, the weird stuff started before that. It's just, let's just say that she's going through some changes, that's all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like you moving in here. Could be a movie of the week. <laughs> Taste meets testosterone, the final battle. <laughs> yeah, well, that's part of it. And what else is there? Look, I, I, I have to live with her. You just have to work with her. So Holly's still on your case. Well, she's just not her usual self. You know, Ben Vereen, you're not. Huh? He can tap dance and you can't. Oh. Now, come on, man. Is something going on with Holly? Is she sick or something? Uh... Not quite, but you're getting hotter. Did Roger upset her? Colder. Well, which is it, hot or cold? Both. Both? What are you talking about? Well, come on, just figure it out, will you please? Think about it. Holly. Hot. Holly. Cold. With a pause in between. 
Holly started menopause? Please be quiet about that, will you? I mean, if she finds out, I told her. It'd be too gruesome. Wait a minute, think... wait a minute. That doesn't make any sense. Are you sure about this? I mean, Holly's too young to start yeah, stopping. Yeah, that's why I, I told her, but she just has womanly reason for thinking that the show is about to be over. And, and, and if, if you even give a hint that you know about it, I will bring the curtain down on you. What, are you suggesting that I can't protect a source? Fair enough. That's my boy. Now, come on, help me with the rest of my stuff. <laughs> what? You gotta be kidding, man. Holly's gonna flip out when she sees what you already have here. Nick, 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 Nick. Have you already forgotten what marriage is about? Believe me, I'm working on it. See, this is the one great thing about this great institution of matrimony. It's the bringing together of two people as one. There's always room for more. The father factor, postpartum depression. Diaper do's and don'ts. No wonder I'm queasy. How did it go? Oh, I don't mind the blood test. It's the waiting that just oh, kills me. Tell me about it. Oh, Mom. I could be a, a mom in less than nine months. It'll seem like nine years. There's not enough time to do everything that I have to do. I mean... I would have to, I have to have to pick out a, a collar for the nursery and, I, and pick out a, a crib and, of course, Ross would have to paint the nursery and assemble the crib and, and um, what else? I'd have to get a car seat, right? And, I, and, and the baby clothes, okay. right? Remind me to pick up the baby clothes and the rattle. Right. What else? Diapers, just Diapers. And I'd have to figure out where to put all those pins and all that. They have them without pins. Oh, I'd have to name the child. Yes, most parents do. So long. We, uh, I have less than nine months to pick out the perfect name. Queasy. Sounds like the eighth door. Oh. I know. Christopher Roger Marler. You must be lightheaded from the blood test. Ross will never agree to a That's name with so Roger true. in it. Good, good. What if it's a girl? Angelica Holly Marler. Molly Holly? Hannah Holly. <laughs> Have a Holly. Do the child a favor and don't burden it with my name or your father's yeah, but name. I have, to, I have to start somewhere. Okay, what if I... Marilyn Mandrake Marlar. I like M's. It's a heroine in a romance. It's M's. Manfred Mitchell Marlar. <laughs> Manfred is interesting. Sounds like a butler. Oh. I'll just forget. I'll just have the damn thing and let Ross name it. Maybe I can guilt him into changing the diapers, too. <laughs> you must be pregnant. You're thinking like a mother. Really? <laughs> I could be getting into this. <laughs> Holly! Margaret! It's no time. Oh, don't start. I'm a few minutes late, but you are six months overdue for your checkup. Mm. Nag. Well, slowpoke. Mm. Tell me this is all in fun. Margaret's been putting up with me for years. Oh, and Holly is one of my favorite patients. What is this I hear about you not feeling well? Well, all women go through it sooner or later. I guess I'm a sooner. You mean you think you've started menopause? In a big way. Tell Mom that a lot of women go through this and they're just fine. What do you know? You're pregnant. Look, you two can snipe later after we've had it. Look, come on in, please. I'm gonna wait for you, all right? We'll have Great. some lunch. I'm gonna be a mother. Is it really you? Reba. Darling, it, it, it's Papa. I knew you were alive. D -d -tell, tell me where you've been and how come you have... Reba. Reba. Thanks be to heaven, my baby girl is alive. Reba, 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 All right, Bruno, I want you to throw this homegrown huckster out of my house. Hawk? Hawk? Oh, don't tell me. You've fallen down, you can't get up. Tell me 
miracle. Not Mr. Goodness miracle. What the devil are you babbling about? Josh. Josh, I gotta tell I gotta tell you. Your Honor, <clears throat> these affidavits show that the Coast Guard made an exhaustive search for Mrs. Lewis following the car accident down in the Florida Keys. Now, it is their conclusion, quote, that Mrs. Lewis drowned and her body was carried out to sea, unquote. Mr. Lewis, however, refused to accept these findings and with his own resources kept up the search. Affidavits from a number of uh, detective agencies in there bear out this fact. Now, after five years of exhaustive searching, absolutely nothing indicates that Mrs. Lewis is still alive. Duly noted, Mr. Maurer. What else do you have? Well, the court should be made aware that Mr. Lewis has purposely avoided relationships out of respect and love for his missing wife. But Mr. Lewis is now committed to Annie Dutton, and the two of them wish to be married. The court should also know that Mr. Lewis could have taken the easy route and lived with Ms. Dutton for two years until the law automatically declares Mrs. Lewis deceased. But he wants to do the right and honorable thing for himself, for his wife, for his fiance, and for his two children. Thus, Your Honor, the petition before you. Now, it is our opinion that Joshua Lewis has suffered quite enough, and he deserves another chance at happiness. And therefore, we ask the court that they grant a declaration of death for Mrs. Reba Lewis. That's eloquent as usual, Mr. Marler. Thank you, Your Honor. Eloquence alone does not a favorable ruling make. The court has a few questions for you, Mr. Lewis. There's nothing to hide, Your Honor. Sir, have you any proof that your wife is dead? Your Honor, there's no hard evidence. Uh, I'll tell you that. But, but I know that she's... She, She's alive. Reba. Alive. Hawk. It, it's her. Reba. I, I, I'm sure. Your Honor, I ask that this man I, I, be I'm removed from chambers, Reba please. Reba is alive. Who is he? This is Hawk Shane, Your Honor. He's Reba Shane's father. Hawk, have you been drinking? No. I spoke to her. How old sweet Reba? I mean, her, boy, her voice. Well, he's hadn't changed a lick. Your Honor, I ask that this man be ejected from chamber so we can proceed. No, no, you've got to believe me, your judge, your judgeship. His wife is alive. I just talked to her on the phone at, at Alexandra Spalding's. Oh, this gets more preposterous oh, by the I moment. The girl's alive. It almost blew, blew my mind. Look, you have done some terrible things in your life, but this is absolutely the worst. No, it's God's honest truth. You, you, you give me a Bible, I'll swear. I'll what swear are you to doing? Me. How, what are you going to say or do anything to break up me and Annie? Is that it? Even, even lie in front of a judge? What I'm trying to tell you. No, I, she I talked to she's Reba. She's dead, Hawk. She's gone. Boy. Oh, boy, don't you get it? Sister gave us a sign. She's telling no. us to sit tight. No. She's on her no. way back. You just face it, Hawk. She's gone. She's not coming back. Oh, no. She, she's my baby, my, my firstborn. I wouldn't know her Honor, voice anywhere. This man be removed from the building. Sit down and be quiet, Mr. Marler. I want to hear what Mr. Shane has to say. eat lots of yams, plenty of exercise, and take my calcium. Women of a certain age should take calcium regardless. Duly noted. Now, I realize that you're convinced that you're in the onset of menopause, but after examining you, I see no signs of it. Look, I I'm, I'm irritable, I'm nauseous, and dizzy. I mean, ask Fletcher if you don't believe me. Oh, I have no doubt that your symptoms are real. It's just they're not caused by menopause. Well, what then? Well, there's another test I want to run. Why? What do you think is wrong? I didn't say anything was wrong. It's serious, isn't it? I should have cut in sooner. Wait, wait. Look, there's no use jumping to conclusions until we get the facts. 
If you're willing to wait, I can have your test results within the hour. and you put a hole through the side of the house to do it. Yeah, well, so what? That room needed some cross-ventilation anyway. <laughs> I'll tell you something. I'm out of here. What? Come on, we still have a lot more work to do No, yet. no, 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 no. You asked me to help you move in, and I did it as ordered, okay? But Demolition Derby was not part of no, this no, deal. No, 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 no. Listen, son, we are on a roll now. Come on, have Sledge, Will Hammer. Help me knock out this wall here to make Holly's kitchen bigger, all right? Sledge, Sledge, Sledge. Holly can't cook. That's part of the master plan. No more room for her to stretch her talent. Listen, listen, I'll, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down to the journal. I'm going to finish my piece, and then I'm going to put in for emergency leave. Why, what's wrong? I'll tell you what's wrong. I don't want to be here when Holly walks in that door and sees the mess that you've made. The way that she's been feeling lately, this sledgehammer is going to turn out to be Exhibit A at your murder trial. You are such a scaredy cat, man. I can handle Holly any day of the week. The woman is putty in my hands. I repeat, putty in my hands. Uh, yeah, come right. On, oh, come on. Please don't make me do this anymore. Hello. Fletcher? It's me. It's her. Quick, hide this thing someplace. Fletcher, are you there? Hi, Sugar Lips. How did you figure out that I was here? My spies at the office told me. What are you doing? Nothing. Nothing. I'm just moving in a... Oh, a few of my things. That's all. No big deal. The place is packed to the rafters. Is there any room? Oh, I made room. <laughs> she don't know the half of it. What's up? I'm still at Dr. Sedwick's. Yeah, she wants to run some more tests, and I have to wait for the results. Something wrong? Oh, you know how thorough Margaret is. You sound upset. I'm annoyed. I'm stuck here. You better cancel my afternoon appointment. To Hoboken with that. You just stay put. I'm on my way over there. No, honey, you don't need to. Thank you for wanting to be with me, but I'm fine, really. I just wanted to hear your voice. But I'll be home real soon. I love you. Well, is everything okay with Holly? Oh, well, you know, she's over at Dr. Sedwick's being tested for <clears throat> you know what. And Dr. Sedwick says she just wants to give her another test, that's all. Well, maybe she just wants to take every precaution, you know. If anything's wrong with Holly. Drowning. They do not make sense. I am who I am. This is my place. My life. My future. Always. Judge, you cannot believe it. Would you wait a minute, to your honor? My client has supported Hawk Shane and his wife for many years, and he's afraid that that support is going to end but if my could, client marries Annie you Dunn. You money-grubbing ambulance chaser, this is about my Reva. Quiet! Now, Mr. Lewis has offered no proof that Reva Shane is dead. If Mr. Shane has proof to the contrary, I want to hear it. Go ahead, proceed, Mr. Shane. Boy, I know I gave you cause for doubt in the past, but on my life, I heard Reva's voice. See, I, I, I went over to Alexandra Spalding's on business. Now, she was on the phone with Reva when I came in the door. Now, Alexandra put the phone down to say hi to you, and, and we, we talked, and then she, she left the room to, to, to get something for me. Well, I saw the phone off the hook, and, and I went to hang it up. And I heard my baby girl. I believe you, Hawk. I believe you believe that you heard Reva's voice on that telephone.
because I thought I saw her five years ago when Billy showed me that videotape. And when I went searching for her, I would see her in, in crowds and, 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 and going around street corners and, and, and getting into cars and, and praying, kneeling in a church where I would be uh, praying for faith to believe that she was still alive. But you know something? She's not. Hawk, listen to me. I saw that car go into the water. I know they didn't find the body. And I hung on to that, I hung on to that for a long time, just like you are right now. I, in spite of what the detectives said, in spite of what the Coast Guard said, in spite of what I felt in my heart. And I nearly ruined my life and the lives of my children to prove that Reva was alive. Because I, I wanted my children to have their mother back. And I wanted to have my wife back. Hawk, ever since Reva and I were kids, she was my life, you know that. We were two halves with the same hole. We were each other's fate. You, of all people, know what I've gone through to get to this point. If I thought for one minute that Reva was still alive... But she's not. She's gone, Hawk. So do, do, do you remember... what H.B. said about her at the funeral? He said that... Reva lived life loving. And I think that's our legacy from her. That we live our lives loving. And right now, I love her. So much so that I want to spend the rest of my life taking care of her and taking care of my family, and that includes you. I agree with you that Reva's alive in the hearts of people who knew her. And she always will. Powerful and moving speech, Mr. Lewis. But pretty words alone can't change the fact that a witness has come forward to contest your assertion that Mrs. Lewis is dead. I'm not doing this despite you. Josh. I heard Reba on the phone at Alexandra's. Mr. Marlowe, I want Alexander Spalding to corroborate Mr. Shane's story. Your Honor, that would be very difficult on short notice. She's a very busy woman. Uh, now, Counselor, there's no excuses. I want her here in my chambers ASAP. Your Honor. No, no, no witness, no ruling, sir. menopause she says it's not so what is it the other possibilities are too hideous to think about wait a minute wait a minute we're getting ahead of ourselves here because maybe it's uh, you're anemic you could be anemic or you could have gotten lyme disease working in your garden oh, i'm supposed to go for my regular checkup like everybody is supposed to that way if there's anything bad then they, they can okay. do something mom let's let's not get upset okay right. dr sedwick is first rate she's gonna find out what's wrong and we're gonna deal with it I'm just so sorry it has to be today, on the day you're going to get such good news. Oh, I'm not even sure if I'm ready for them. Listen, when you know, all the doubt and the worry are going to vanish and be replaced by something deeply joyous. We women have the privilege of bringing into the world life. And no science or technology or, or, or political trend is going to take away the miracle of motherhood. Oh. It's just moving too fast. It's happening too fast for me, Mom. I mean, nothing is wrong with you because it can't be. I'm going to have a baby and I'm going to need you. Yes, yes, yes. Well, Granny's stronger than she looks. It's just my stomach will stop churning. I feel a little better. Because have of my you nerves. eaten? Oh, the thought of food makes me nauseous. Oh, but you have to keep your strength up. Let, uh, you know what? I'll go down to the cafeteria. I'll get some food. We'll, we'll eat it here food. while we're. No, I don't think so. Oh, you... Mom, a piece of toast. Mm. English muffin, it'll be good for you. I feel so bloated already. I don't think so. 
So maybe orange juice I could have. That's it? And ice cream if they had it. Pistachio I would love. Well, no wonder your stomach is upset. Mm. have your test results. Poor man. Alone in a strange place. Cut off from family and friends. No wonder Rebecca is so moved by his plight. She came to us in much the same way. Where can she be? Perhaps she had to wait by the telephone for word from his family. Rebecca, I was worried. I'm sorry, Charlotte. The task took longer than expected. Were you able to reach this man's family? I tried, but there were so many voices on the line, I could not talk. You can call again. The hospital will contact his family. The hospital? We saved his life. Now the hospital will tend to him. Rebecca, what is coming Please, for you? Please, have Max bring the wagon around. It will be easier for the man to make the trip to the hospital if he remains unconscious. Oh, my husband is in the fields with the other men. Come Please, down Charlotte, and... just get a hold of Max. Have him bring the wagon. The man needs to be at the hospital so they can contact his family. I insist. As you wish. I am so sorry. But you must leave here so I may live in peace. You're gonna make good on your little threat, huh? Well, I'm gonna tell you something. Two can play at this game. I will sue you up one side and down the other. This is falling, I presume. That's right. And if you think you can summon me here at will, the next bench you sit on will be in a park with pigeons. Lose your attitude. Hmm? Court needs your help. A matter of critical importance. Well, I'd be happy to do whatever I can. Did you or did you not speak on the phone today with Reba Shane Lewis? I make more than my share of long-distance calls, Your Honor, but not to the never world. No, Rita Shane is dead. Unless I've got some sort of psychic in the attic, I'm not going to talk to corpses. Clara, you were talking to Reba when I walked in. Oh, I was not. I heard her with my own ears. How can you hear anything with so much wax in it? You talk to Reba, now admit it. Josh, I I'm sorry. I really don't know what's going on around here, but I was not chatting it up with Reba on the phone when Shane broke into my what? house. Two. Were you on the phone when Mr. Uh, Shane uh, entered? Yes, Your Honor, I was. But it was apparently a bad connection or a prank call. It certainly was not a voice from the dead. Of course not. Reba's alive. Your Honor, may I please go? That blasted woman, will you tell the truth? You want the truth? Fine. Reba Shane is dead. He said so himself. He did? Yes, earlier today during an attempted extortion. Your, 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 your Honor, she, tr she tried to run me down with the car. Mr. Shane feigned injuries in a bold attempt to milk the Spalding cash cow. Well, if that's the way you think Miss of yourself. Spalding. Oh, you. Miss oh, oh, you. What? Your excuse. Thank you. I'll get you for this. Oh, and eat my fingers. Notwithstanding the deplorable behavior exhibited by some people in this room, I am prepared to rule on the matter before me. Let me sit down. Is the news that bad? No, we just have to discuss your test results. What is it? It's Epstein-Barr, malaria, Lyme's disease. Bubonic plague or something horrible. Go ahead, tell me. Holly, this is going to shock you no matter how I tell you. I knew it. I knew it. I would meet somebody, fall in love, get married, be happy finally, and it would all be too good to be true, and now I'm dying, right? Go ahead. No, no, Holly. You're pregnant. I've reviewed Mr. Lewis's petition and the affidavits presented by counsel. Testimony by Mr. Lewis, his father-in-law, and a third party in regard to the possibility of Reba Shane Lewis being alive. Her 
hurry, please. I want this man gone. I want these feelings he stirs in me gone. I appreciate the deep-rooted feelings held by Mr. Lewis and Mr. Shane. But my decision is based on the evidence that I see before me. I therefore grant Joshua Lewis's petition request. It's true. I did dream it. This court declares Reva Shane legally deceased. Thank you.